right. So I was at uh, we have a local farm store called Atwoods. It has a Atwoods has a lot of uh, farm supplies, ranch supplies, and stuff. There was a demo TV set up with this bucket, and um, they were using this to wash um, game birds and things that they had hunted and cleaned, and they you know defeathered them and cleaned? they were already they were already uh, gutted and, uh, and and plucked. But then they just put the birds in here to wash off all the debris and dirt and stuff like that off their game birds. So while I was watching that and watching how this thing worked, I thought, hmm, I wonder if it will work for eggs. So I got one and we're just gonna give it a try and see how well it works. So it just hooks up to a garden hose. There's a connector on the side that connects to a garden hose. It's a five gallon bucket. And the patented part, the money shot, if you will, is this, they've got this patented uh, metal, uh, plastic um, fitting on the inside that's connected to this the water hose drain at the bottom and it circulates the water um, in a circular motion through the bucket so we've seen a lot of um, other egg cleaning systems with like aerated water and people putting together different ways of um, aerating the water so that the air bubbles wash them um, so I just thought I would give this a try and see if this works. Um, it was inexpensive and we'll find out how well it works. We're gonna try it with the eggs in the basket first and see how clean that gets them. And then um, these eggs are not horribly dirty. There's a couple of dirty ones at the bottom but the rest are just typical grit. So I'm gonna put this in here and my lovely assistant's gonna turn the water on and see what happens. Turn it down, turn it down. That's good. You can turn it up now if you want. The idea is the way that thing, the way this thing works on the inside is it's, it's at an angle. So once it gets water in the bucket, it, it'll begin to swirl the water in the bucket. And the idea is, according to the video I watched, is any debris and everything simply floats out over the top. Probably turn it up a little bit more. I just. I guess it wouldn't have been so splashy had we filled the bucket up with water first. Splashy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you over and show you what's going on in the bucket. Tornado. So we're supposed to let it like. Yeah. Up. So with all the. It's supposed to have all of the debris coming out over the top. Um, those eggs, like I said, weren't terribly dirty, but you can see the whole thing spinning around inside. And um, we'll give it just a minute and uh, uh, take it back out and see if any of those eggs are any cleaner than they were. If not, we're gonna take the eggs out of the crate or the little red container and pick them up. We'll take them out of that crate. If they're getting agitated, keep spinning around in there pretty good. The funny thing, the dirty ones all up at the top. And there's the scarlet one on it. Oh, that one. Let's just let's turn it off and see what we have. Well, the bubble, um, the bubble went, people left it in there for like five minutes. It's going to be exclusive. Yeah, we'll have to water. figure out, well, one of the things I thought about, I knew it was going to dump out a lot of water like this, but one of the things I guess we could do is, is, is catch this water. We've got these extra water trough so we could actually just keep the water and use it for plants and the garden stuff. Cool. I haven't seen any of the eggs break yet, but they're spinning around in there pretty good. Surprised how much they're spinning and moving all those eggs around. 
If nothing else, just doing it for a couple of minutes to rinse them off when we take them to actually clean them. Uh, hopefully that would just make them easier to clean. One. There's one broken, but I, I think, think it was kind of yeah questionable. We, anyway. we we have one chicken. Her name's Phyllis. I'm pretty sure she's the one that lays these really thin shells. She's a uh, Polish something crested crested Polish hen, and a lot of her eggs, for whatever reason, have always been kind of thin. So that one's cracked open. The other ones, that's not bad. It's nice, nice. A you little bit a of. A little bit of feathers. I can just rinse it right off in there. What the heck? What you doing there? Bring that white bucket over there. Oh well. I was looking to see what Bucky was doing. These are actually these are pretty good. They weren't bad to begin with. No, they weren't. These weren't terribly dirty, but they're um, they did have some debris on them. grass straw that didn't come off but if we got it off easily and in there these look pretty good that one is weird what is a green mark doing on there we have we have those green marks are from the um, the nesting boxes they have green paint inside those I repainted them and so we have a little bit of green marks on a couple of the eggs where the they chickens like grass stains. stir them around. They do kind of look like grass stains, but I mean, these, that, that worked pretty well. They're much cleaner than they were when we started. So I, I guess the biggest thing with this to me is to figure out how not to waste that water. So we'll work on that. But other than that, I think it did a nice job of cleaning those eggs up. I'm surprised. And we only broke one that we can use in the house if we want to, but it's, um, Yeah, it's a really thin wall. I can feel it. But um, anyway, if you have something it. like that, give it a try.